Hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a group exercise instructor and physical therapist. Today's class is a mat Pilates class. You just need a mat and maybe a glass of water. I will show modifications to all the exercises, so make sure you're picking an appropriate level that you can do with good form that feels challenging. If something does not feel good and hurts, please don't do it. Maybe just rest during that exercise and wait it out until the next one. Let's get started. Knees are bent, feet are flat. And I'm gonna have a visitor, <laughs> sorry. Um, honey, you gotta lay down. You gotta lay down, lay down, lay down, 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 lay down, lay down. All right, we still have a visitor. I couldn't get her to go back on the couch, so we were just gonna have to, yeah, I know, she wants some love right now. All right, so get that core engaged. Pelvic floor, close and lift. Transverse abdominal muscle, flatten that stomach muscle toward your spine without forcibly tilting through the back, okay? So it's not a butt squeeze and a swoosh of that back into the floor while we're here in kind of our neutral spine. So lengthen your entire spine, tailbone, and head in opposite directions. Press the hands and shoulders into the floor. This is like just a good example of like what we do sometimes to get our workout in. We got dogs on us, kids climbing on us, all sorts of stuff. All right, now breathing out through that rib cage, making sure that's moving and you're not holding your breath. Okay. Keep that core nice and tight. Now, Come up into an ab curl. So your head is gonna lift if your belly did not poof out, okay, and get bigger. You can come up even higher. So you're gonna start to roll the shoulders, maybe your shoulder blades off the floor and reach through those hands. Now keeping that core engaged, I want you to take those arms overhead and lower. And inhale and exhale. Just kind of go at your own breath pace. Inhale and exhale. Maybe if I give her a little love, she'll be content and go back to the couch. Inhale, exhale. Don't we all just need a little love in our day, right? <laughs> I'm sweaty, so she's she's all licking me. And pause. Now side bending, reaching through the side of that body towards one ankle and the other. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Couple more. and pause at center. Now support your head, hands come back, and I want you to rotate and center, rotate, center. Exhale as you twist, firing those obliques. Okay, keep going. One more to each side, take it center, roll it down. Keep the head and chest down, press those hands and shoulders back into the floor. You're gonna take one leg up and extend it out away from you and hold, so keeping that rib cage down, keeping the belly down, drive that knee in and out a few times, two, three, four, and five, and we're gonna switch that out. Other leg, pick it up, extend it out, and pull it in, one, two, three, four, and five, put it down. All right, now we're gonna go right into walking from here. Bringing those knees up, you're gonna keep that core engaged. You're gonna kick those legs straight up to the ceiling and flex your feet, okay? Now from here, you are going to separate those legs in a scissor motion, but you're only going about um, heel to toe, okay? So it's, it's not like a giant scissor, all right? It's a very small, tight, quick kind of pulse scissor, all right? Now, you can modify this and bend your knee and scissor from here, okay? Doing this little shuffle walk with the knees if you need to shorten that lever. If you wanna make it harder, you're gonna to start to lower those legs down and walk there. So keeping that core engaged, hands strong into the floor, keep that belly down and in. Make sure as you started to lower your legs, your belly and your back did not lift up and pop out. So really maintain that contraction Tight, 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 tight. Firing those quads. Breathing. And bring it in 
and lower down. So now we're going to do a reverse shell position. We're going to be up in an ab curl, so contract through the core, come on up, and then you're going to pick both legs up. And I am lightly holding my legs, okay? If I let my hands go, my legs don't really go anywhere, okay? So I'm very lightly holding that. You can put a foot down on the floor, and I'll show modifications in a second. Same side arm and leg are going to reach out and pull in, and then same side, and then we'll switch, okay? Now, I can leave my head down if my neck gets tired. That was the biggest complaint this week in class was people's necks were getting tired on this one. So if you have some weak flexors on that deep cervical spine on the anterior side, that's where you're going to feel this. So keep that chin tucked a little bit, lengthen your neck and spine. Reach out one, or again, I can leave a leg down, two, three, make sure you get full length, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> and ten, pause, and other side, inhale one, two, Three, I'm gonna to have to put her away. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it back, other arm out straight and pause. We're gonna straight leg raise, tap, lower down. Two, three, four, Five, corset, tuck that chin, look at the belly. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring that in, switch the legs, extend it out, lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten the last set we're going to do alternating reaches one two three four five keep that core in six seven eight one more on each side and lower it down so again, a little bit of curl endurance, you get a little bit of help from the hands, but a lot of neck strength on that one too. All right, we're gonna be up into our ab curl, but you get to support your head now, so it'll give your neck a little bit of a break. And our legs are gonna be back up over our pelvis. I think she's over in the corner pouting now. So <laughs> we are going to nice, strong, straight legs. You are going to scissor cross sideways, okay? So not front to back, but over each other. Okay, so we're going to do a one, two, three, four. Then you're going to abduct the legs out to the side. Now, control that. It's not a whip. It's not like a bounce out there. I want you to squeeze into it. And then you're going to pulse, two, three, four, and squeeze out. Okay, I'm kicking my wall, so I'm going to come towards you just a little bit on this one. All right, hands behind the head. You can also stay down on the mat um, if you choose with the head. So come on up into your curl. Keep that core nice and compressed. Here we go. Pulse one, two, three, four. Squeeze and close. One, two, three, four. Squeeze and close. One, two, three, four. And open and close. You go at your own pace. Now the modification for this, there's really no way to bend those knees and do, I mean, you could do a little foot scissor from here, I guess, and do a butterfly. Um, so I would just kind of hold it here and either butterfly those knees or butterfly those knees here and just keep that core set. So keep going. Couple more. Last few.
finish one and lower down. All right, I'm gonna get myself back on my mat and we're gonna go into double leg stretch, okay? If you know your level and you don't wanna to listen to the modification options, just start it, okay? At any point, if we're doing any exercise and you're like, oh, I know this one, just do it, okay? Don't listen to me. Or you do have to listen to me, but you don't have to listen through all the modifications. So double leg stretch, pull out. You're coming into that curl position. Hands are gonna start by the sides of those legs. Knees are over your hips. Your hands are gonna slide by the side of your head, reaching overhead, and as they do so, you're gonna extend those legs long and pull in, okay? Now that's not just like a soft, fluffy, little floaty movement. I want strong arms, so reach and pull. And I'm gonna hit the wall. Reach, scoop and pull, reach, scoop and pull. Okay, so strong. This is a pretty movement, but it should be powerful. Level one, I can do just the upper body. I can bring it up to level two with my feet kind of tucked by my butt or at knee level, okay? I can also straighten up to the ceiling with those legs to add some leg movement or start to add the kick out, yeah? So at your pace, strong. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Strong reach, pull, reach, pull. Four, three, two, one, and lower down. Okay, I'm gonna stay out here. I think I'm gonna smooth my mat out, how about that? I'm like, I know our next one, my legs are gonna hit the wall again. So, sometimes you do what you can with the space you have, right? All right, that'll be better. So we've got a scissor into a windmill. So we're gonna end up doing everything on one side and then switch it and do everything on the other. And you do have a couple options for upper body too, like down or up. So legs, start off over those hips, all right? Kind of see a theme today? <laughs> a lot of big leg movements. We're gonna start with a drop on the right leg first. So you're gonna split those legs, scissoring them, and then they're gonna windmill around. So from here, they circle out and around, okay? And then you switch and you do it again, okay? So they're doing a switch out and around, switch out and around, and then we'll do the other side, okay? All right, now, upper body. Again, you can stay down here. You can also come into a curl position or support your head if you want. So belly down and in, pelvic floor engaged, really create length in that neck and spine, and drop the right, circle around. Drop it, circle. The goal is to lock the knees, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. We're going to switch the start. Drop left. Windmill around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up and roll it down. All right. Now you're gonna end up mirroring me on this one. Come into sitting. And I'm gonna scooch towards the back of my mat a little bit because we are gonna roll onto our side, which is fine. If you roll off your mat and you're on carpet, if you're on a hardwood floor though, you might want to 
Um, scoot your buns over to the back side of your mat. Okay. Now in sitting, what's common is slumping, right? So our shoulders become one with our jawline and we have no neck and we're all collapsed through that trunk. So push into the floor with those hands, lift that heart, pinch those shoulder blades back and get that core engaged. Okay. Now from here, the leg that's on the back side of your mat, okay, so if you're mirroring me, it would be your right. You're gonna lift that up. I don't care how high, it could be a couple inches. Okay, you can really kind of kick it up and lift. And then you're gonna roll onto your side, forearm. That leg is gonna go back and you're gonna do an abduction lift, outer thigh. You're gonna come back around into sitting and lower it down. And that would be one rep, okay? All right, core engaged, get that pelvic floor lifted and leg up, roll to that forearm, leg lift, roll back, lower down. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, keep that core set, nine, Last one, 10. And release. And we're gonna do the other leg. I'm gonna flip myself around, but otherwise you can just kind of scooch to the other edge of your mat. All right, legs out extended again. Get yourself set. Nice long line of that spine. Get your pelvic floor in and that transverse abdominal muscle back. Other leg, so if you're mirroring me, going to be your left. You're going to bring it up. You're going to roll away from that leg that's lifted onto your forearm. Extend and abduct. Roll it on back and lower down. And we've got two. Three. Four. Five. You can tell my abduction is a little bit bigger on this side. I just have more hip mobility on that side. Six. Each side is an equal, right? Seven. We try. Eight. Nine. And 10 and release nicely done now we're gonna keep up with that outer thigh just a little bit we're gonna come onto your knees and again I'll show modifications we're gonna be side kneeling and we're just gonna be doing a lat pull with um, a knee lift so if you're gonna come full out with this pick a side you're gonna be in a side kneeling position Top leg and arm are gonna be reaching out opposite away from each other. And then you're gonna pull in and squeeze. So you kind of do get a little bit of a butt drop because then as you reach back out, I want you to drive into the floor with that knee on the bottom so that your hip kind of looks like this, okay? Now, you can come to your forearm. Maybe that really bothers your wrist. Come on down and you're gonna go here and here and here. You can come all the way to the floor and come here or lay it all the way down and pull here. And then your emphasis really would be up here. You're not really getting any drive into the floor for that bottom abduction, okay, through that hip. So that abduction is kind of a bonus on this one. All right, pick a side, here we go. Get yourself set, get that belly back, 
lengthen and extend those limbs and pull one reach two don't short the reach reach three four five six seven eight nine you're going to 20 10 11 12 13 14 15 almost there 16 17 18 19 and 20 and release it down other side Move over just a little. Hand down, knee down, reach, pull one, pull two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe, nine. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, and release it down. Hope you felt that in the outer buns. We're gonna get onto our stomach. We're gonna isolate glute max. So some hip extension with some heel squeeze prone. So come onto your stomach. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Probably hear me breathing today. My asthma is a little weird. Maybe I should have put music on. <laughs> I feel like I'm all like, eh, breathy. Okay, on your stomach. Come on down. Now your forehead's gonna go on your hands. Your legs are about shoulder width apart. And then you're gonna bend your knees to 90 degrees. Flex your feet, press your heels together and keep them toed out, okay? So from here, make sure as you lift up, you don't push outward, okay? It's not a push to the wall, it's a push up. We do not have a ton of hip extension anyway. Most people are very limited in their range of motion this way. So do not fret if you can't get your knees off of the ground. The, the point is the pressure at the heels, the really good isolation squeeze in the glute, and the attempt at that leg lift. If you get them off the ground, great. If not, no worries. Do not force it through the back. Okay, I see a lot of people cheat and they start arching upward through the back. No, you should not feel this in your low back. That's not where the movement is coming from, excuse me. So belly up and in, glutes tight, pelvic floor engaged, cement your back, okay? So really try not to move into that low back. So here we go, heels together. You're gonna exhale and press, knees half way down on the inhale. Exhale, push, inhale halfway down. Exhale, push, inhale halfway down. And again, you can see my hips, I'm not moving very much, and I'm super pretty flexible. This is very small isolation. You're just going at your own breath pace with your exhale and inhale. And then pulses at the top. Pulse, 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 pulse. Four, three, two, one, and release. Go ahead and shake that out. Now what we're doing next is gonna be a long endurance hold, okay? For our upper body, we're gonna be doing postural positioning. So I'm gonna set an alarm because we are going to be doing 
one minute increments, okay? Now, if you need a break, you're gonna come out of this, take a break, lift your arms back into it. So if you could see me from below or above, we're gonna be straight out, palms down towards the floor. We're gonna rotate thumb up towards the ceiling. We're gonna come into goal posts, palms towards the floor. We're gonna come into a V with our thumbs to the ceiling and a low trap. And then we're gonna come down to our sides, palms down, thumbs out in like a little Superman squeeze. So we have five different positions. You get five minutes of upper body isometric holding, okay? So this is a lot of endurance. Come on down on your stomach. Now, you can either leave your legs hip distance apart or squeeze them together. I'm gonna add a little bonus squeeze. So everybody's feet are strong, pressed into the floor. You are firing your quads. I don't know if you can see my legs. There's relaxed, there's tight, there's relaxed, there's tight. So squeeze your quads, squeeze your buns. I am squeezing my legs together at my feet to get my inner thigh to kick in as well. Now, you can put your forehead down on like a towel roll or the mat and still be doing these holds. Again, not a big lift. I'm not trying to be up here, okay? You're hovering. And then you are squeezing your shoulder blade together. So palm down, lift them up. I'm gonna keep my face off the mat and I'm also gonna lift my heart a little bit just to engage my back muscles, my paraspinals, my sensors, just enough. And then I'm thinking about placing my shoulder blades towards the opposite butt cheek. So kind of down and back and together. And you are holding. Now again, you're gonna forget about your legs after a while. So keep scanning your body. Think about this almost like a plank for your upper body. Um, long endurance holds, isometric. Okay, stability. So press those feet into the floor, quads tight, squeeze your buns, squeeze your legs, belly away from the floor, especially on your exhale, pelvic floor in, long neck and spine. You got four seconds. And then you are going to go thumb up. So all I did was rotate from palm down to thumb up. Keep holding. Create a nice long neck. You're not cranking your head back and looking at the wall. Keep your face towards this, the floor. I almost said ceiling. Huh. Hang in there again. Your arms should be out in like a T. They're just hovering off the floor. They're not super high, but you are pinching your shoulder blades together. Legs are strong and engaged. Now from here, you're gonna bend your elbow, but go palm down first. Bend your elbow to 90 degrees. You're hovering in a goal post position. So try not to let your hands drop and your elbows lift. Pick your hands up off the floor. I'm just focusing on my breath along with that core. Like scan your body. What are you pulling in well? What needs to be corrected? Now you're gonna reach towards the corners of your mat and you're gonna go thumb up in a V. This can be very hard. Some people are not able to even get their arms off of the ground and that's okay. So just think about that motion, try to do it. And those muscles will be engaging. So I'm in a V, kind of reaching just a little wider than the corners of my mat. And again, I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder blades down towards the opposite butt cheek.
Keep that neck long, don't shrug to compensate. We're gonna come down, palms at the side of your body, towards the floor, thumb out. Last one, I picked the easiest ones for last here. So really reach down the side of your leg, squeeze those shoulder blades back as if somebody had a hold of them and they were pulling them back. Keep breathing. Thirty seconds, and then after this, we're gonna do some inner thigh. We're gonna take that focus back to the legs. and release that down. You guys did awesome. That is a lot of endurance holding to be able to do on that one. Whew. That's one of those, like you might wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, why is my upper back a little stiff and sore? That would do it. Okay, so we're gonna move into inner thigh. So you've got a couple different options. If you're gonna be up on your forearm, which is where I'm gonna be, then your top leg is going to be behind you. All right, so it's just kind of pulled in, knee bent. You're gonna press out through that bottom leg, strong through the heel, flex your foot, and then we're gonna lift from there. Do not roll onto your back butt cheek and go toe up, okay? So even from here, do not start lifting upwards with that toe. You're gonna get more hip flexor than you are in through that adductor. Now, if this bothers your shoulder, you can come on down to the floor and then put that top leg in the front and lift from there. Either direction, either direction, either position, you are still having to engage through that core. So just because you're gonna be doing inner thigh or in a class doing outer thigh lifts, anything like that, does not give you permission to be slouchy in the core. So pelvic floor in, belly tight. If you're on your forearm, again, not this, this. All right, push nice and strong. You can do whatever you want with this hand. I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, foot stays parallel with the floor, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're doing 30, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Pulse is at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Hold it, point, circle one, two, three, about the dinner plate size, five, six, seven, eight, nine, other direction, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release, other side, bring it around. Hopefully y'all felt that. I know I did. Okay, so inner thigh, pressing that other leg out. Again, if you're on your forearm, no slouching. Lift it up, make those muscles work to hold you up there, okay? Good form. And again, do whatever you want with the other arm. Pressing out, if you're down on the floor, go down. Lift one, two, three, four, five, Six, slow and controlled. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Strong leg. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Pulses at the top. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, Two, other direction, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower down, and release. All right, you guys made it today. You are all done. We're going to stretch. So again, if you want to put any different music on, now's your chance. Maybe get another drink. We're going to start off on our stomach. So come around and lower it all the way down and then come up onto those forearms lengthen that belly pull that heart forward relax through that spine if you want a little more stretch you can push into the floor all the way up relaxing that low back lower back down reach back for a foot grab it stretch out that quad now you can do anything else with that quad if you um, don't like this position. You can also do some range of motion with your leg. If you can't quite catch your foot or use a towel switch or belt, something that you can kind of flip around that foot, stretch that one in. We did a lot of straight leg, knee locked. So stretching out that quad. and release that. Go ahead and press yourself to your knees, tabletop up. Tuck the knees underneath those hips and I want you to round through the spine. Let's stretch out that upper back. So push through the floor, reverse that, extend, exhale, flex. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, push. One more time, exhale, and release. Go ahead and bring it all the way around onto your back. Let's stretch through those inner thighs and through that hip. We're going to do inner thigh first. So extend a leg out. Okay. And then the other one, you have the option of either keeping the foot on the floor and dropping the knee to the side. You can pick it up, support it, drop it over. I'm going to grab a hold of my foot, but you can grab a hold of your calf or knee, ankle. You can throw a strap or a towel around your foot, and then I'm going to let it drop over. Okay, so I don't, you can't really see me once I'm there, though. It looks like I'm just laying down. <laughs> so you'll see it a little bit more on the other way. Keep that chest centered. And release that in, extend that leg out. And then pull the other leg in. And again, you can leave it flat, open, pick it up, open, or straighten it out, grab a hold, and open from there. And bring it in crossing one ankle over on the other knee and thigh pulling that in towards your chest to stretch that hip out you can grab a hold of that kind of foot knee ankle area to kind of control that if you want to reach through you can and I tend to cradle with my arm and pull that in and you can do whatever you want with the other foot you can roll it out flex it point it let it just dangle And switch it out, other leg, pull that in. Okay. 
and release that. Let your knees roll to one side, open up through that chest, get a quick twist, other side, rib cage open, shoulder back, bring it center, reach through those fingers and toes, take a deep breath, and exhale out. Technically, you guys are all done. You can either stay where you're at or come on up and move on with your day, right? All right. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them and have a safe and healthy week. We'll see you next time.